All right, so we're in video number two, and we're going to talk about JSONblob.com and some ways you can test some of this information right here and test out some of these formats. So we're going to go to JSONblob.com. JSONblob.com is a free website you can test JSON. And that's what all this is. I'm just going to kind of go through this. You can kind of practice and play with it. I'm going to show you a little bit how this all works. So we're going to go in and I'm just going to publish that. Uh, I guess we didn't. Let me delete that. Content published. There we go. So I'm going to create a new flow. I'm going to call it test. JSON. And we're going to go to the flow builder and we're going to bring a content block up here. So if you watch the first one, first video, you'll see that I bring that up and we're going to open this up. And we're going to do a get. Post, we send the data out. Get, we're going to send data out and get that data back in. And so what I want to do is I want to send a message back to us. So what you're, we're going to do is we're going to use JSONblob.com to format our message that comes back. So, oops, I don't want to go that far. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this in because it's a complete JSON that we have to start with. I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to get rid of the actions right now and the quick replies. And just going to make sure that you take those out. And we're going to take those out. And we should be good. Oh, let me take this message, that part out. It, it does tell you you got errors, so that's always good. So now, once you got the errors cleaned up, it actually should flow here and open up just like that. There you go. So we're going to do some simple text. We're going to say, hey, Jeff. Now you can use the, um, let me see. I think it's first name like this. Do substitutes. How it going? Oops. There you go. So we got that information and we're going to go over here we're going to do a get so that we can get that information back and what you do is we're going to save it so once you do it on here once you get this format in here then you could do a save and then it'll give you a URL that you get to use to get back to here so you can see the URLs up here so we're going to take that URL and we're going to put it in here. We're going to add API right here, API forward slash. Because what this does is this is the, this is the URL so you can get back and change things over here. So if I took that, oh, it's the same URL. If you take that URL and type it in another, you put it in here and went like that. There it is. So it's a way to get back to that content. But now to call the API so that it actually executes and sends this JSON back to test. It's a great, this is a great place to test your JSON so to see if it works, that you have all the syntax, everything lines up with the brackets. Because if you don't have the brackets lined up, it doesn't work. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't work. Uh, so what you want to do is put the API in there and we're doing a get, so we don't have any body. We're not passing anything right now. We're just going to do a very simple test. So we're going to run the test and what you want to do is you want to get 200. Okay. Your response is valid. So basically what it's doing is 200. Okay. Means that everything works properly. Our get worked and then we got information back. So the response coming back is valid so that I could that mini chat can actually process it and send it to Messenger. 
And there it is. There's remember there's version two content message message type is text text. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? It's going to say, Jeff, I think I have that formatted correctly. We'll see. But that's basically what we have here. So what we just did is we processed. Call an API, the endpoint. And said, hey, give me some information back because I'm doing a get. I want it back and it sent it back. There it is. So I'm just going to save this. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to preview it. I'm just going to do preview. And we're going to go into Messenger. And it's going to, there it is. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? So basically what happened is we ran this code. We ran this code, we did a get, we ran this or processed this URL, this API endpoint, we called it, which is this project being the API itself, not this exact here, to, oops, to get this sent back to us in Messenger. And there it is. So that's how that all works, is that you send a request out, Let's say it's a get like this. You're going to say, hey, send something back as long as it's valid. You know, run this test again. Is it valid? You're going to get a 200 OK. And then this, sometimes, depending on what you're doing, might say, hey, it's invalid. And that means that something's coming back. It's not right. And then you have to go fix it. Something may be out of place. But that's really a summary, kind of a lower end detail of how this works. You're going to, as the client, you're going to call. In this instance, we talked about this in the first video. Here's ManyChat, the client. We did a request, a GET request to a server, which an API, which is JSON blob, oops, which is JSON blob. API and it sent JSON back, which is what's down here, which was what was displayed in Messenger. It was converted into an actual message. So that's it for this video. And if you got any questions, just let me know. Uh, you can message me in Messenger, or you can go back to the YouTube YouTube channel, or actually right below the video here and comment and let me know. And we're going to go on the video three. We're going to talk about other APIs, the outside APIs that we can bring data in or call. And we're just going to go in a very high level. We're going to talk about that. And just a reminder, I am ha I do have a course coming out that's very detailed and teach you how to do this. All right. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.